Mike Hobbs here, and uh, I've been getting questions a lot about tracking, you know, what I'm doing for tracking. Do I use like a pretty link or do I use just like a, a certain tool? What am I using uh, for track tracking? Okay, so let me show you my screen real quick. I actually use a tool called Click Magic. Now, this is a monthly tool, so you do have to pay for it monthly, but it is worth it. It is well worth it, and I'll show you actually how to get it for free. Uh, if you would like at the, by, by the end of this video, okay? So here, here's the thing with, with tracking. There's things out there called Pretty Link that you can install on a WordPress blog uh, that will give you uh, click tracking. So you can track your clicks uh, and things of that nature. Also, if those of you who are in the Kalatu blog, you know, they have something in there called Linkify, which will also uh, track clicks. But there's nothing else after that, so it won't track conversions. It won't track. Uh, it won't help you retarget with retargeting or any of that kind of stuff. Okay. So one quick question: the retargeting craze out there on the internet, uh, you know, that's it's kind of a big thing. A lot of people uh, have to own their own website though to put the retargeting codes. On their page now if you don't know what I mean by retargeting all I'm talking about is like if if you land on a website I don't know if you ever went to Reebok and then you went over to Facebook and you saw Reebok ads that's called retargeting so you can actually do that to people who land on your website as well but you can't do that unless you control the code unless you can go into your website and put the code on your website uh, or if the, if the system you're using allows you to put codes on the websites so that is uh, one problem in this industry, you know, about retargeting is you have to control the website. But the cool thing is with Click Magic, and I'll show you that here in a minute, you can actually put retargeting codes on any link uh, on any website, whether you own it or not. So that's kind of a cool thing, right? So anyway, let me just show you why I use it. It's, it's a really low cost if you would like to get it. Uh, I am an affiliate of it, so I'll have my affiliate link uh, below this video, you can feel free to get it through me or you can get it through someone else. It doesn't really matter. I just want to show you what I'm using. Okay, so click magic. Um, the best way for me to show you how to use it is just to do it live. Okay, so I'm just going to log in. As you can see, here's the main website. When you click the link below, it'll take you over here. Uh, you can check the pricing. You can check their video, watch them in action. I suggest you actually do that. But look at this. Uh, just a couple features here. You know, works anywhere, tracks easily, any sales funnels, uh, ad retargeting, that's one that I really love, um, and all these other cool things, okay? And they monitor your links 24 seven. So if a link, like a website goes down, this is a really cool feature, because I've actually, I've, I use things like iPass and, and, and different systems, and sometimes I'll get an email or a text that says, hey, your link is down. I'll, I'll literally get a text, your link is down. So I, I'm like, whoa, okay. So then I contact the, the support through iPass and they get the, the server going again. So it's like instant notification whether your links are working or not, which is really cool because you don't have a lot of downtime with your websites when you have link monitoring, okay? So that's part of it. So obviously things like Pretty Link uh, and Linkify and things like that don't have the sophistication to do that. So that's why I use something like this, okay? super fast and all that good stuff. All right, so let's show you real quick. I have a whole bunch of campaigns set up, but let me just show you what I mean. So in here, they have rotators. So if you ever need to do a rotator for your team, maybe you're driving traffic for five different people, uh, you can have one link and it'll rotate between those five people. I'm not gonna really cover that right now, but that's an option in this tool. Um, also, they give you reports, all this cool stuff. But the one thing that I use the most is links and uh, you can also set up groups. So like for YouTube, I have I'm, I have some YouTube campaigns going. So I have a, a group of links for YouTube so that I can check on you know what traffic I'm getting from what videos and stuff, uh, different product reviews, things like that. So let me just go ahead and create a new link. All right. And here's the cool thing. Right here, you can set up like they'll give you a, a, a domain, but you can set up a custom domain in here to where it's your domain. So that's what I did. I, I actually created one, Freedom Shortcut, and they show you how to set all that up. 
I'm not going to help you sh or show you how to set that up. It's in their tutorials, but you can do a custom domain in here. So it's really cool. And then you can just, you know, let's just do a test, test, test. Uh, then we'll do primary URL. We'll just do Google. Actually, I'll just do one of my websites. It's fine. Now you can cloak the link just like uh, Matt, basically what that means is masking. If you don't want this website to show up, you want this website to just stay the same there. You can cloak it or not. I'm not gonna do cloaking right now, but you do have that option. And this is just for your purposes. So we're just gonna do test, test. Okay, now here's the cool thing about this. So this is typical. You can do that in Pretty Link, okay? You can do that in Linkify, you can do that uh, with other tr click trackers or you know in, in the back office of whatever system you're using typically you can do this and that's where it usually ends uh, is just the click tracking now the cool thing about click magic is they have advanced settings and check this out so you can have a pop-up so you can create like a pop-up in the tools area uh, I think it's in the tools area. It's one of it's somewhere back here, but you can create a pop-up. And so anytime you promote this link, it'll go to this website, but it'll have a pop-up. So if you want to have like, so for example, let's say your, your blog or your website doesn't have a pop-up feature. You can add that with just this click magic. So you can create a pop-up in here. And then anytime you promote that link, a pop-up will come up as soon as they get to that website. So that's very, very cool uh, for, especially for those of you who don't have pop-ups on their, on their blogs or, or anywhere else. You can control the pop-up from here. Now a magic bar, I, don't, I haven't set one up yet, but it's kind of cool. It actually just has a bar over, overlaying your website. So it's just like a little magic bar overlaying your website. So you can do pop-up magic bars. Uh, password, this is if you wanna like password uh, protect the the link. So if you have training you want to do or something like that uh, that you don't want everyone to see, then you can actually password protect this link here. So that's kind of cool. You can um, you can actually do max clicks. So if you only want a thousand clicks going to this website, and as soon as you hit those thousand, it redirects somewhere else. You need to set up a backup URL, and you do that in your settings there or right here backup URL. Okay. So you, where you want them to go after you've done the clicks. That's really, really cool. I don't, I don't use a lot of these, but I'm just letting you know that it's it's there, okay? Smart swap, I haven't used that much, but I believe this just means if your website ever goes down, it'll swap it out with one of these, okay? Um, also, you can track the cost of your campaign. So if you're buying clicks from somewhere, you can, you can put how much the clicks cost and then you will see your cost per click, cost per action, all that kind of stuff, okay? So you can check your costs, uh, you can track countries. Now this one's really cool. If you don't want to uh, advertise to certain countries, you can go like this and include just the countries you want. How cool is that? So basically, if, if uh, if someone goes to your website and they're from a different country, it'll go to a different place. It won't go to this link. It'll go to wherever you set your either your backup. I think it's uh, one of these other options. Um, it might be in your settings area, but it's cool because you'll be able to redirect that traffic somewhere else and you won't be paying for those clicks. Uh, so I like that option. If you just want to target certain countries with that link. All right, all right here, there it is clicks reached or a visitor's country is excluded. So if you, the backup URL is what it is. So you basically, boom, if, if it's someone from outside of the United States. So let's say you have an offer that's only valid in the USA. Well, you can have this sec selected, only get traffic to USA to this offer. And then in your backup URL, you'll have an offer or website that is globally accepted. Kind of cool, right? Uh, okay, so mobile URL, this one's huge because a lot of times the what you want people to see on mobile is different from what you want them to see on a website. So if your website is not really mobile friendly and it doesn't convert it down to a, like a, 
a good website, a small website where the, the opt-ins above the fold on the mobile device, you can actually set up a whole new website <laughs> that's mobile only. So you could just have like a headline and an opt-in box and then set up that website somewhere else and put that URL here and you can, you know, any mobile traffic that goes to the link that you're advertising will go to that link instead. This is huge because mobile traffic is becoming really, really big. So you want to make sure that it looks good on a mobile device. So I really love that feature. I use that one a lot. Okay. Repeat URL. I don't usually use that much, uh, but it basically says, okay. So basically if someone's already gone to this, to your URL once, you can send them somewhere else for the second time. I haven't used that much. Now this one's a really good one. Okay. You can add retargeting pixels here. <laughs> so literally you can go to Facebook, set up a retargeting pixel. Okay. And you can go Google that if you don't know how to do that and paste your retargeting pixel here. So if you have even an MLM company or any company, so if you're driving traffic to a capture page, you do not own <clears throat> and you do not own the code and you don't, you can't, you don't have any places to put code on that website. You can still build a retargeting, uh, list with it by putting your retargeting code here. Okay. And then when you advertise this link, it'll give you that, it'll track that retargeting campaign. So it's kind of like you don't even need to own a website anymore to put the codes on your website. You just need to have click magic and you can put it right here. This is my favorite feature and why I, I, I have this on like every single link. So every link of mine, I put a pixel code so that I am building my retargeting list on Facebook. So then you can advertise to those people really, really cheap. And even if you're not advertising to them right now, it's, it's useful to build up that campaign just in case you advertise for them later. Really cool stuff. Okay. Now this stuff, I haven't done much with this, uh, but this is for bad clicks. So you can actually, I mean, you can click this question mark and, and check out what it is, but you know, if you can, it can actually tell if it's a bot, like if a bot is giving you clicks, you can block it. Okay. Things like that. I haven't done much with this, but it's an option. A lot of these features, I don't use a lot of them, uh, but it's cool to have them. Okay. So de detect new bots. That's good. Uh, blink refers. Okay. Good. Uh, and any notes that you want to do. So guys, isn't that pretty powerful? <laughs> if you think it's powerful, comment below. Do you think this tool is powerful? Let me know below. What do you think about it? Uh, that's why I use it. That's why I like it. Uh, and, and the main reason I like it is the retargeting. Okay. And uh, I don't really do much with conversion, tracking conversions and stuff, but you can track conversions and stuff like that. So you create the link. I'll show you where you do that. So we'll just go ahead and create the link. Oh, I'm doing geotargeting. I got to make sure uh, I turn that off. Okay. So we'll create the link real quick. Oh, whoops. I need to put a, a better domain there. I guess that one's not going anywhere. So let's see. There it is. All right, good. That link should work. Okay, boom. So I created my link now. If I wanted to create a conversion tracking, so if I wanted to track opt-ins, I really don't put this on a lot of my links, but you can. You just click over here, track conversions, and they literally just give you a link or a code to put on your sales page. Now this, to track conversions and sales and stuff like that, you need to follow their directions, obviously, and you need to own your websites. So, and you need to be able to put codes on your websites, okay? So just keep that in mind. I know systems like iPass have the ability to put code on websites, so that's kind of cool if you're using that system. You can track opt-ins and things of that nature. Uh, and go really deep into it and actually track sales too. So action is opt-ins and sales. You put that on your actual thank you page after they've bought something. So this is where you'd put out on your thank you page after they've actually purchased. And this is what you would put on your thank you page after they've opted into your website to put their name and email in. So kind of cool stuff. They have all this stuff, custom domains, all that good stuff. So 
I like it. This is what I've been using for a long time. I haven't done a video on it, um, but people who ask me, I typically tell them about it. So I wanted to do this official video to, to let you know about this cool tool, um, you know, and, and you can use it if you would like to. Again, I'm an affiliate of it below and, and I, asked, I actually told you how to get this for free. Let me show you what, what I was meaning by that. They have pricing. This obviously is a paid tool. 17 bucks a month is their monthly. Now you can save money if you do annually. You can get to $12 a month. Uh, you don't really, I, that's the one I'm paying for. I haven't got up to these ones. Now, obviously if you start becoming like some crazy, you know, traffic guru, then you'll need to upgrade your plan. But this is the one I'm using right now and it works fine for me. And, uh, and you can try it for free. I think it's a 30 day trial or 14 day trial for free. So feel free to just use it for free. Try it out. Click the link below. That's my affiliate link. You can try it out for free. And if you decide to buy it, uh, they have a $17 a month. Uh, and the cool thing is, if you would like to get this for free, at the very, very bottom, you can sign up as an affiliate yourself, do a video like I just did, uh, or tell your people that are you know need to know about tracking about it. And the first month is 100% commission. So basically, they pay the $17 100% right away. So this is how you can get your... Uh, first month for free and then after that I don't remember what it is but I think it's like 30 percent or somewhere around there I haven't even really looked I haven't promoted this you know I just you know been using it really uh, but I've been getting enough questions in my Freedom Crusaders group and the people that I work with uh, about tracking that I wanted to finally do this video and show you what I'm using and uh, what works well for me. So anyway, go ahead and pick it up below. If you if you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook. Uh, my Facebook's facebook.com forward slash Mike M. Hobbs. And then, uh, you know, I look forward to helping you and serving you.